Hi, this is Skylar, aka Raylix for all those geek friends of mine out there. I uh, just want to take a second to show my fire kit. It's uh, housed in a Maxpedition EDC kit, or EDC pouch rather. Uh, has the Molly webbing, nice handle for pulling it out of my bag. Uh, Velcro, Maxpedition, you know, they make awesome stuff, but I just wanted to show basically how it was done. It actually takes up very little room. And I'm going to take all this out, lay it out, and show you. But this is what it looks like when it's all packed up. As you can see, it's very compact and easy to get to. But I'm going to stop the camera for a minute and take it all out. Okay, you guys, this is my fire kit with everything taken out. Uh, as you can see, I have the basic fire striker like most people have. I also keep a flint so I can get the uh, magnesium as I need to. I used a part of an inner tube just to hold that down. I didn't want it cutting up my bag. It has that uh, sharp saw side to it. I also have this. This is I found in Kroger. They had these little sticks, uh, fire sticks that like giant matches. And I just uh, cut them up into little squares, as you can see there, to uh, if once I get something started with my tender, like a cotton ball or whatever, I just throw this on top and it burns for quite a while. It does really good. Uh, I'll see if I can demonstrate that later. I also have Vaseline in one of these packs, which uh, Pack, Rat, Pack Rat 556 had uh, these pouches, and it was a great idea. As you can see, I love them. I use them for everything. But uh, just has Vaseline in there if I need it. To go along with that Vaseline, I have the cotton balls. And these are some of those um, medical pads. Um, I'm sorry, not medical pads, but the makeup pads like... Uh, my wife uses to clean her makeup off and I just sandwich some Vaseline inside and I have four of them in there so it works out pretty good and I have some uh, wet fire that has I've crumbled up into powder form and I've doubled the bag because it tends to leak make a mess but that works great uh, these I found at Kroger these fire starter things I'm going to demonstrate that too they burn for a long time and make a very large flame so if, if you light one of these and you can't get a fire going you need to get out of the woods uh, also have the these out of an MRE they're just regular matches uh, but they are for uh, damp situations they're not waterproof so if they get wet they're pretty much useless uh, candle which pretty much everybody send these little candles and uh, waterproof matches which I've sealed up in this waterproof container for extra uh, protection and it has a striker in there which is backwards but that is a striker uh, this is my little pin light that I use for being able to see in there if you do have to light a fire and it's dark out I keep one of these chem sticks in there for lighting things and I mean for lightening the area work great um, oh this this is a regular big lighter but I took some inner tube and wrapped it around there there are actually two layers and I can light the inner tube and the inner tube burns for quite a while and it's great for getting fire started so of course that's the first thing I grab but it's they work great and last I don't normally see this in a fire kit and some of you may know why I shouldn't do this but I think it's a great addition and I'll do a demonstration on it too is you can use super glue or any other kind of adhesive I use these uh, I get it from the auto uh, section it's usually around a dollar dollar fifty or so but the consistency of this compared to super glue I like better. It's a little bit gooier. It doesn't run off so much. Uh, but it you can light it with a striker. It takes a spark very well. But it doesn't take up much room and of course can serve multiple purposes in a kit. You know, for repairing clothes, multiple things. Now this particular thing and like super glue, I wouldn't put it on a wound because I just don't know if it's safe or not. But it for other things it is a wonderful adhesive put an arrow tip so whatever but anyway I'll do a demonstration on that that works wonderful anyway I'll cut the camera off and go over to my demonstrations thanks okay the first thing I want to show uh, 
is the striker fire sticks. Uh, from earlier, you saw I had these little squares chopped up. Uh, basically, it's from the striker fire. Works very well. Uh, so, first of all, I'll show you basically how it works. Like I said, you, it comes with like a little fire thing, so like a match. So it lights up pretty well. And that will get going, and it will eventually just ease down the uh, log or stick or whatever you want to call it. But it works really well, and I just keep a few of these in my bag. Uh, they will light with something like a cotton ball, so everybody knows how easy it is to get a strike going from, with a cotton ball. But uh, so basically, if you have a cotton ball going, you just take one of these and put it over the edge of it there, and it will light up pretty easy okay uh, move on to the next okay one of the other things I demonstrated was the our show was this the cotton pad with uh, Vaseline sandwiched in it they work really well um, basically they do absorb quite a bit so on the outside I just kind of flare it up a little like that and I have a bigger and better striker but actually I like these little cheap ones pretty well and as you can see that lights up and compared to a cotton ball that'll burn for probably about seven or eight minutes and they work great while I had that going I'm gonna show you something else the lighter the little rubber tube around it and you know it's, it burns great but you can light it with a lighter or whatever else you have. You would never be able to get it going with a striker by any means. But you see it just jumped over there. But <laughs> you can see it's burning really well too. And another thing I wanted to show you was the fire starter. Actually, what I'll do is I'll stop the video, put this fire out, and show you these can actually be started with the uh, fair seam rod. It does take a few more strikes usually, but it, it burns pretty well. So I'm going to stop this and move on to that. Okay, next thing I want to show you is the Ignito or Ignito. You can get these at Kroger over near the um, charcoal section. I'll show you how it works. You can hear the neighborhood kids in the background. <laughs> And this is similar to the uh, wet fire. It will uh, burn in water. In fact, I've filled this container up with water before and dropped them inside and lit it and watched it. And it does probably even better once it's directly exposed to water, like you know, the like my fire does. The wet fire, I mean. But as you can see, this is a great fire. This is the one where I said, if you can't get a fire going from this, you need to get out of the woods quick. Well, as you can see, and this will burn for about 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to stop the video and put this fire out. Thanks. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is something that I never see in anybody else's kit. And I just, uh, I think it's a great tool to have. It serves multiple purposes, which is the glue or in this case it's emblem and trim adhesive uh, it's very cheap waterproof obviously because because of the container I haven't rounded the edges off but you can grind those off and make them smooth so it won't damage your pack but it works very well you just punch a hole in the tip and 
it's not as thin as super glue and it's a little bit gooier so it stays where I want that's why I prefer this over super glue and for doing repairs and things but like I said it takes a spark very easy burns extremely hot as you can see it's catching fire to the plastic bag that was holding the uh, fire starter the ignito or ignito sorry but you can see that works great and you can direct the fire wherever you want it this was the purpose of me making the video I wanted to show how well it worked and uh, I'm gonna pack up all my stuff and get out of here thanks for watching guys